If you have chickens or plan to have some, this video is exactly what you need. More than likely, you will have to deal with both egg yolk peritonitis and ascites in your flock sooner or later. Egg yolk peritonitis and ascites, or water belly, are serious conditions that can be life-threatening if left untreated. One of these conditions is generally considered more critical than the other, and unfortunately, the two are often confused diagnostically because of their similarity in symptoms and side effects. The good news is that there is a way to determine which is which. The bad news is that only one of them can be cured. So it's vital, I repeat, vital, to know the difference so that the two diseases can be assessed and properly treated as early as possible. Let's start with egg yolk peritonitis. Abdominal swelling, lethargy, reduced appetite, labored breathing, fluffed up feathers, decreased egg production. These symptoms are an indication that your hen could be suffering from egg yolk peritonitis. What exactly is egg yolk peritonitis? Egg yolk peritonitis is a serious and often fatal condition that affects layer hens. In a healthy hen, the egg yolk is released from the ovary and travels through the oviduct where it is encased in egg white, membranes, and shell before being laid. However, in some cases, the yolk can miss the oviduct and end up in the abdominal cavity. It's important to note also that chickens that lay soft-shelled eggs are also susceptible because a soft-shelled egg can break inside her and enter the abdominal cavity. In either case, the stray yolk can cause an inflammatory reaction called peritonitis. If bacteria are present, an infection can develop, exacerbating the condition by leading to a range of health issues. Understanding the symptoms, side effects, and treatments can help us to manage and prevent this condition in our flocks. Let's get a deeper understanding of the symptoms. One of the most noticeable signs is a swollen or distended abdomen. This swelling is due to the accumulation of fluid and egg material. Affected hens often appear very tired and may spend more time sitting or lying down. They may eat less than usual or stop eating altogether. Difficulty breathing can occur due to pressure on the hen's air sacs from the swollen abdomen. Hens might keep their feathers puffed up as a sign of discomfort. There is often a noticeable drop in egg laying or irregular laying patterns. What happens if egg yolk peritonitis is left untreated? If left untreated, egg yolk peritonitis can lead to severe complications. The presence of egg yolk in the abdominal cavity can foster bacterial growth, leading to a severe infection. Chronic inflammation can, as a result, damage the hen's internal organs. Affected hens may lose weight due to reduced appetite and the energy drain from fighting the infection. And in severe cases, bacteria can enter the bloodstream, leading to septicemia, a life-threatening condition. Treatment options. Treatment for egg yolk peritonitis can be complex and often requires veterinary intervention. Some common approaches include antibiotics to combat bacterial growth, anti-inflammatory medications to help reduce inflammation and discomfort, supportive care such as providing a comfortable, stress-free environment such as isolation to help prevent further stress and injury, along with easy access to food and water, which is crucial. Fluid drainage, in some cases, to drain excess fluid from the abdomen to relieve pressure and discomfort. This is best done by a vet, by the way. And in severe cases, surgical intervention may be required to remove the egg yolk material from the abdominal cavity. This treatment is usually a last resort due to the risks involved. Preventing egg yolk peritonitis. Prevention, of course, is always better than cure. Here are some tips to reduce the risk of egg yolk peritonitis in your flock. Ensure your hens receive a balanced diet with adequate calcium and other nutrients to support healthy egg production. Minimize stress factors such as overcrowding, sudden changes in the environment, and predators. Conduct regular health checks to catch early signs of illness. This requires your observation as well as physical inspection to check for possible problems. Genetic selection. Some breeds are more prone to reproductive issues. If possible, select breeds known for robust health and lower incidences of egg-laying problems. But what if your chicken does not have egg yolk peritonitis? What else can it be? The truth is that there are several medical issues that have similar symptoms to egg yolk peritonitis. For this video, however, we're going to take a look at the possibility of the problem being ascites, also known as water belly. A special note here is that ascites can occur in both hens and roosters, and a hen does not have to be at the age of laying for this disease to affect her. What are the symptoms? 
Similar to egg yolk peritonitis, ascites causes abdominal distension due to fluid accumulation, but the fluid is usually clear and straw-colored. This is one of the main differences in the two conditions. However, highly recommend that you have a vet extract the fluid from your chicken rather than trying to do it with a hypodermic needle yourself because it is extremely easy to cause aspiration or heart failure by drawing too much fluid at one time. You could also accidentally puncture another of the chicken's vital organs if you're not familiar with a chicken's anatomy. Other symptoms may be exhibited by rapid, shallow breathing due to pressure on the respiratory system from the fluid-filled abdomen. The chicken may appear depressed, weak, and lethargic. Additionally, just like with egg yolk peritonitis, there is often a decrease in egg laying or irregular egg production in adult hens. One of the most distinctive side effects is cyanosis, which is characterized by reduced oxygenation that causes the comb and wattles of your hen or rooster to appear bluish in color. Another important note to keep in mind is that ascites can also be caused by underlying conditions such as liver disease, heart failure, or other metabolic disorders. Therefore, a veterinary visit is highly recommended. Ascites is a condition that is not curable and can become chronic, resulting in ongoing swelling in the lower body. This means that even if the fluid is drained, it is likely to reoccur at some point and will need to be drained again. As stated, there is no cure for ascites, but egg yolk peritonitis, on the other hand, can be cured with proper treatment. What does this all mean? Egg yolk peritonitis and ascites are serious conditions that can be life-threatening if left untreated. However, ascites is generally considered more immediately dangerous due to the rapid accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity, leading to increased pressure on vital organs like the lungs and heart. This can result in severe respiratory distress and heart failure. Egg yolk peritonitis, on the other hand, can lead to chronic inflammation and infection if not managed promptly, but the progression tends to be slower compared to ascites. This condition can be cured with antibiotics if treated in time. Seeking veterinary care. If you suspect that your hen is suffering from either egg yolk peritonitis or ascites, it's crucial to seek veterinary care as soon as possible. A veterinarian can perform a thorough examination, including physical assessment and possibly diagnostic tests like ultrasound or x-rays to accurately diagnose the condition and recommend appropriate treatment options. Well, there you have it. By understanding the symptoms and side effects of these two medical conditions, we can all better manage and improve the health and longevity of our flocks. Early intervention and supportive care can significantly improve the prognosis for hens affected by these conditions. Prompt veterinary attention is essential for providing the best possible care and improving the chances of recovery for your hen. And though ascites has no cure, there are preventative measures that play a crucial role in reducing the occurrence of this condition, ensuring that hens can continue to lay eggs healthily and happily. Therefore, be on the lookout for part two of the series in which I will discuss ways to prevent these two diseases so that your chickens are less likely to be affected in the first place. I hope that you have found the information helpful and will subscribe to the channel to become a much appreciated member of our community. Additionally, by liking, commenting, and sharing this video, you will help to expand our growing community and help get valuable information out to other chicken enthusiasts. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.